This winter, the Woodbury County Extension will once again be offering their Master Gardener program, and they're looking for anyone who is interested in applying. And joining me today to talk more about the Master Gardener program is Mimi Shanahan, and welcome back again Thank to you. the show. And uh, also we have uh, Megan Will with us today. Okay, so first off, what is the Master Gardener program? Well, the Master Gardener program is a volunteer program. Uh, first and foremost, I believe. Um, we have all kinds of classes on different gardening topics and um, the person who wants to be a master gardener will come to these classes and which will be held in January and February and into March and um, um, when we finish all the classes then we ask that they do some volunteer service in the community that has to do with gardening and gardening education and and that kind of thing so it's a volunteer program to to teach and learn about gardening okay now Mimi what are some of those topics that you cover in the program we're going to talk about um, well, let's see, we talk about soils and integrated pest management, and um, we'll talk about entomology, which is insects, and um, plant pathology, which is looking at the different spots on leaves and things like that to learn, learn about what's making a plant sick. And um, let's see, what else? Can you think, Megan, what else? Botany. Botany. Mm -hmm. The different parts of a plant. Um, there's house plants landscaping for your own backyard, um, uh, herbaceous ornamentals, which are basically flowering, you know, annuals and perennials. Mm -hmm. um, just a huge topic. I mean, very broad. We get a little bit of everything mm -hmm. so that you can kind of go home and go, oh, yeah, I can do this to this area of my yard. Or That's what's wrong with this. So <laughs> <laughs> you learn a lot. <laughs> Now the participants in the uh, cl uh, class, uh, do you want to kind of talk more about that community, community service that you have them do? Well, we have all kinds of projects that are ongoing right now that uh, around the area that Master Gardeners are involved in. Um, our biggest one, I think, is probably the garden show that we have coming up in in March. Um, we had we had it last year down in Sergeant Bluff, and we had about 2,500 people from the area come to visit our garden show. And we're working on planning another one in the spring. It's going to be in South Sioux. And so it's all run on with volunteers. And so, um, you know, we need a lot of help with that. And um, so that's, I think that's our biggest um, project right now that we have going. We also have people that help with some various uh, gardens around the area, like at the Dorothy Pico Nature Center, I believe. Uh, they have some flower beds out there that uh, Master Gardener will go help with, or the Cancer Center downtown. Um, Latham, Park. Latham Park is Latham a big Park, one. Um, mm -hmm. The Interpretive Center um, down. Right. The, the, at the Lewis and Clark Interpretive, Interpretive Center, Center, they yes. planted a um, the Garden of Discovery down there, and a lot of Master Gardeners, not just the Master Gardeners did that, but a lot of a Master lot of Gardeners did. helped with it. And uh, so that's the kind of thing that they'll do, go out and speak to different uh, organizations that want a topic on, on gardening, you know, that kind of thing. Oh, really? That's what we do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sounds like the windows of opportunity are there. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Some okay. go into the schools and talk to kids, so mm -hmm. I mean it doesn't stop. <laughs> right. Um, now becoming a master gardener, how does that help someone's life? Well, um, education is one thing that I've always said, um, no matter you know, no matter what happens, you've learned it, you know it, it's yours from, from, from then on. And so um, it opens, opens the door to a, a lot of different topics on, um, in, in the gardening aspects. And um, while it touches on them um, only briefly, um, it gives you the opportunity to find more information, where you can locate it, um, who you can talk to to get that help with it if you don't know, um, that kind of thing. So it, you know, it puts you in touch with a lot of other gardeners uh, to network with. So it's just invaluable in that respect, I think. So it's great fun. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what are participants learning from this? What are they learning? Well, 
they're learning. Um, you know, one of the classes, like for instance, myself, when um, I first heard the pond presentation, I hadn't had a pond, but I had a whiskey barrel at home, and I noticed um, that uh, the whiskey barrel, we were using it to hold water, and uh, so we could water some plants in our little garden shed, and um, I noticed that mosquitoes were living in there. And I learned that if you put uh, make that little whiskey barrel into a pond and put some goldfish and some plants in there, the goldfish will eat the mosquito larvae, and then you don't have a problem with it. <laughs> and so, I mean, it's, it's sometimes it's the simplest of things. And each person, some people come into it with wanting to know just one thing. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, I've got a new home, there's no landscaping, so that's why I'm going to take it, just so I know what I can plant. But they end up learning that and so much more. Um, and people already have hobbies. You know, there's some that their hobby is irises or African violets, but they want to maybe expand that. You know, they want to learn other things or how to incorporate it. So some of them come in with pre-existing or, or pre-notions of what they just want to learn, but then after 12, 13 weeks, they leave going, wow, I learned a lot more and, and know where to get more information. So it's, you can take away with whatever you want with it. It sounds like it turns out to be a, a benefit to someone's life if they're, they become a master gardener. Um, so do you want to kind of talk more about uh, where the classes are held and uh, what the times are for the classes? Sure. We hold them at the, um, at the extension office, which is kind of right across from Hy-Vee. Um, I don't know the exact address. It's 40, <laughs> 4301 Sergeant Road. Right. In uh, Morningside. In Suite 209. Mm -hmm. um, and they're held every Tuesday and Thursday. And uh, they start at 6.15 until about 9.30. And it, like this class, like we said, will start January the 8th, then go on till about the second week in March. And then they'll have a graduation mm -hmm. and they'll be interns. <laughs> okay. Now, uh, are there any awards that they can win? Um, it's not so much an award. Um, you, um, they're interns because they've done their, their education. Now they need to do their 40 hours of community service um, or educating, educating others um, to get their 40 hours. Once they complete that, then they come to any a banquet that we hold for another class or um, we'll probably maybe do some um, certificates at the garden show. We haven't quite ironed all those fires out yet but um, but then they will be they will get their actual certified you know master gardener and then just then once you become a master gardener um, staying active all you need to do is get the six hours of education and six hours of community service and then you're an active master gardener and as long as you stay active I mean, we have some that are getting awards coming up for 10 and 20 years 20 years <laughs> as an active master gardener and then we have others who are getting awards for uh, or pins um, with 500 hours of community service and a thousand hours of community service so you know you can mm -hmm. do as minimal or as much as you want you know mm -hmm. you you're in control of that okay now I have seen these really interesting <laughs> purses that you brought in uh, do you guys kind of want to show those off a little bit Sure. <laughs> There are our watering can. <laughs> well, I know I wouldn't look good having one. So. No, well, <laughs> we could maybe find like... you a blue one. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's okay. Uh, but um, uh, so the winter's coming up. Uh, are you going to be putting those away? or? <laughs> no, we'll be getting them out for the garden oh, really? show <laughs> in March. We, uh, and we'll probably use them for our banquet next Tuesday. Oh, yeah. sure. We see, use them I, for special see, gardening See, I would occasions. think that you would... Um, you know, bring them out in the summertime, spring, because, you know, you think of the flowers and watering them, but, but well, that, that's kind of like an oxymoron a little yes. bit. Yes. <laughs> for a master gardener, watering can purse, a lady master I, gardener, I must it's say, just perfect. <laughs> yeah. I must say it is quite unique. Yes. Um, and speaking of uniqueness, uh, how is the course or the uh, program kind of unique? It's, um, well, it's unique in that... Um, Number one, what you get is just the scratch. I mean, there's classes that will that are taught in three hours that you take a whole semester mm -hmm. of college for, but you're just getting the overview. So you're you're getting a very condensed version, but at least then you're given the information 
to know where to find it and expand on it. Um, and it, and it's unique because you go in thinking, okay, I'm just going to do this class, I'm going to go and learn, and then I'm going to go home, and you know, I'm never going to see these people again or whatever. And you don't. You build. You have friends that you make for life, or you know, I mean, your network of of people. So it's more than just gardening, and you get put in touch with people who like the same hobbies that you like, and you share plants and things, and because. That's what we do. <laughs> now, I want I want both of you to tell me what your favorite part about uh, having the course. Uh, what's your favorite part, Mimi? My favorite part. Mm, you know, I don't know if it's my favorite part, but I will tell you that the, the class that I learned the most when I took the course um, 20 years ago um, <laughs> was about integrated pest management, and. Um, and learning how to handle um, pesticides when you need to. Um, integrated Pest Management is a program that, that teaches you to manage instead of just getting out a spray bottle um, and spraying chemical on it first thing. To learn to identify what you're spraying and why and how to handle chemicals properly and um, knowing what you're doing, reading the label, what the label means, all of this information. Um, it's, it was wonderful information. It made me a lot more comfortable um, whenever I need to use a product like that, that I know that I'm doing it right. Um, and also, it makes, uh, it, it helps you to use a lot less of it because um, you, there's lots of ways to manage it to prevent an insect or a disease from happening. And so that, I think, was probably my favorite because it's applied to just about every one of the mm -hmm. other courses with the soils and the uh, flowers and the trees and the shrubs and all that. Um, pest management always comes up. So that's mine. Now, Megan, uh, real quickly, what's, <laughs> what do you like most about the course? When you, went, when you go to Ames, the university, you have a, a one day, it's a Saturday class, and the four of the subjects that you just touch on in class, you actually do uh, more. You do more experiments, and you are in the actual classrooms at Iowa State. You get to go through their big greenhouses. So it's it's even more hands-on, and, and, and you get to meet the professors that you've just been seeing through the Internet, you know, through the connection. And, st you know, these guys you get to meet live, and, you know, they're real and <laughs> it's just nice getting to see where everything started from so right and anyone trying out the course uh, I'm sure they'll have some something they like the most about the course mm -hmm. and uh, and, uh, and I'm sure it'll influence their lives uh, for the rest of their life absolutely so. it does mm -hmm. a lot of them say that the the Saturday names kind of ties everything together better. Yeah, it does. All mm -hmm. right. Well, Mimi and Megan, thanks for being with us today. Two M's, M&M. Yes, M&M. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, one more time, the uh, classes go underway uh, January 8th, right? That's correct. That's right. And uh, uh, there's a deadline coming up soon. December 14th. December 14th. 14th. And the navigation. cost, one more time? One one fifty five. <laughs> All right. All right. And so they can call the number on the right two seven six twenty one fifty seven or visit their website at extension state edu backslash Woodbury. That's our show today for Extension Connection. I'm your host Tony Elrich. Thanks again, guys, for being with us today. Thank you.